Bonjour, Emily Talpin, OM System Ambassador. Welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I thought I would answer one of the questions that I keep on getting is, are you selling your 60 millimeter macro or your 30 millimeter macro for the 90 millimeter macro? And which lens should I get? So hopefully that will be a helpful video. Also, at the end of this video, I'm doing a giveaway because I don't feel like I'm going to need the Renox anymore. Uh, and this could be useful for one of you. So I want to thank you for your support. So stay until the end to know what the rules are for the giveaway. Now, let's get started. This question about should I sell or exchange my 60 millimeter macro for the 90 or my 30 for the 90 has been asked and asked and asked of me again and again and again. So I thought, why don't we do a video about it? Um, because it's on everybody's mind. Which macro lens should I use? And here you have the three lenses from OM system. So you have the 30 millimeter macro, the 60 millimeter macro, and the 90 millimeter macro. Spoiler alert, I have the three of them. I'm keeping the three of them. That is not because I'm keeping the three of them that you should keep the three of them. And that's not because I have the three of them that you should have the three of them. So I just want to bring some clarities about what each lens is about and also explain to you why I'm keeping the three lenses. Um, so first of all, the 30 millimeter macro is the second macro lens that I bought. Uh, I actually started with the 60 millimeter macro. I think this lens is a great lens to start macro photography. It is super small. I mean, the 60 millimeter macro is not that much bigger, but there is a difference. And so in terms of weight, this is actually 128 gram, so not much. And um, what I like is that it gives you a 1.25 magnification, which is a 2.5 magnification in terms of a 35 millimeter format. A lot of magnification. You need to be very, very close to work with your subject. Uh, and this is great for water drop refraction. This is great for uh, mushrooms. This is my go-to lens when I'm in the forest, I'm walking, I'm doing wildlife, but I know that I have a chance to photograph mushrooms. I'm going to take this lens because I know the mushroom is not going to be scared or the water drops are not going to be scared because I'm next to them. And very often I, I use an external light at the back. So that's okay because you will need... Uh, to add, you know, probably some light, especially if you are in the forest. So that is why I'm keeping the 30 millimeter macro because it is so small, it fits in my pocket and I can carry it around and that's it. That's all I need with my flashlight and I'll be able to be creative. So no, I'm not getting rid of my 30 millimeter macro. And if you are on a budget, then you should really consider it. It's a lot of magnification and it's a very, very easy lens to use. So 30 millimeter macro, you can probably find some used for a very good price. Now, the second lens is the 60 millimeter macro, slightly bigger. It weighs 185 gram, not that much. Again, it's so small, it fits in my pocket. Uh, people cannot believe that's my go-to macro lens because it's so small. It looks like a toy, but it's a very powerful one. It is a one-time magnification, so a two-time magnification in terms of 35 millimeter format. And um, it is a little harder to use, I would say, than the 30 millimeter macro because it has a lever and to switch to a one-to-one -one ratio, this is what you do. Click, that's the lever that uh, you change. And then you need to be in manual mode because if you're not in manual mode on your camera, then as soon as you let your camera focus for you, uh, if it acquires the focus, it will 
get out of the one-to-one -one ratio. So be careful about that. I have a couple of videos that I made about this lens. I'm going to put them uh, below uh, this video so you can uh, take a look if you are interested. You also have more working distance to your subject, which is really good if you're doing any insects. So this is my go-to lens if I'm doing any insects and I'm also pairing it with a flash and a diffuser because I want to light up my subject properly and if my subject is a little bit fast then I will need to freeze the action with the flash. It is also a brilliant lens for portrait. Uh, so if someone uh, asks me to do a portrait, that's the lens that I will have with me because I'm a macro photographer. I don't do portrait I, from time to time for friends, but that is not my thing. But anyhow, that's the lens that I will use if I need to. And uh, yes, I am not going to get rid of this lens because once again, from time to time, all I will need is a one-to-one -one ratio for my macro photography and I know it's going to be enough with certain insects so yes this is not going anywhere plus I feel like this is this is this has been my go-to macro lens for so long like I I want to keep it I don't want to give it uh, away I don't want to you know exchange it but really the 90 millimeter macro is going to be my go-to macro lens. Why? Because this lens boosts a two-time magnification, which in 35mm format is four-time magnification. That is insane. Uh, and I don't have to use the four-time magnification all the time, so the two-time in macro for third magnification. Um, very often I'll be in, you know, one-to-one -one or even a little less and, and that's fine. It depends on the subject, but I have that option. And also if I need more magnification, I can use one of the teleconverter that I also have for wildlife. That's the two-time teleconverter. That's the 1.4 teleconverter. And I can't do that with the 60 millimeter macro. So that's why this is really going to be my go-to macro lens. Yes, it is way bigger. Yes, uh, it is also heavier, but it's not that heavy uh, really for uh, what it is, for the size. And so that's why it will definitely have a place uh, in my bag and that's going to be place number one. I just love how flexible this is going to make me as a macro photographer and I also love that there is a clutch so this is manual and I can see exactly where I am two uh, one etc and then the autofocus is also really impressive it works very well even at the two time magnification I'm very very impressed and so yes it's kind of redefining how I shoot macro now I'm gonna give a little bit more um, power to my camera and, and trust it a little bit more for the focusing. Uh, so overall, I've been having an absolute blast shooting with the 90 millimeter macro. And yes, it will replace my 60 millimeter macro in my bag, but I'm not getting rid of them because I, I want to keep those free lenses to me. They have a place on my shelf I'm going to use them as tools and I know that from time to time this might be the tool that I need. This might be the tool that I need. Uh, but it doesn't mean that this is going to be your situation. Maybe um, for your budget you might have to sell this one because you really want more magnification and you know that um, this is the only lens that you will need. Then great, you should definitely do that. I think it really depends on, on each of us. We are individuals, we need different tools because we create differently, we function differently. So, can I answer your questions? Yes, I can, but that will have to be individually because I might give you different answer depending on the type of photographer, 
that you are. And I made an analogy uh, when we did the OM system live uh, last Thursday with Lisa Kuchara, by the way. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I'm going to put the link to the live right below. We show you a lot of photos and also Lisa's work is amazing. Uh, she does a lot of workshop with her husband, Tom. Highly, highly recommend them. I'm also going to put their Instagram. So go and check them out. Um, yes, I, I'm a big fan, <laughs> as you can tell. And so I hope you also got a lot of answers by watching uh, this YouTube live and um, we're also inspired by some of the photos that we show you and we also show you the flexibility of the 90 millimeter macro. Now, some of you might not have the budget to buy the 90 millimeter macro, but at least, you know, you have an option. You still have some excellent uh, lenses here, but because I have the 90 millimeter macro and because I want to thank you for all your support, I decided to do a giveaway. Now, let's talk about the giveaway. I'm giving away the Renox DCR 250 to one of the lucky subscribers. Why? Because I want to thank you and also because I have the 90mm macro so I, I don't need more magnification, that's fine. Um, and I haven't used it much. I bought it from a friend of mine. So I thought maybe that would be something that one of you would like. So. Here are the rules for the giveaway. Number one, you need to be in Canada or in the US so I can ship it to you and I know there won't be any problems. Uh, so I apologize for all the rest of you. Um, I know it's a little bit complicated right now, mailing things. Also, if you are in the US and in Canada, you need to be a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, click on the subscribe button, hit the bell and also Number three, actually number three, that's how you do it in America. France, we do that. Number three, you also need to like the video. And number four, I want you to post a comment under my video. Uh, you can comment on what you will do if you have uh, the Renox. You can comment on what macro lens you have. You can comment on the new 90 millimeter macro. Have you already ordered it? Have you received it? I thought that would um, be good topics of discussion. And the winner will be picked the day that I reach 5,000 subscribers. I can't believe I'm about to reach 5,000 subscribers. So I'm very excited. So if you want this to go faster, you can tell your friends to follow me as well. More subscribers, the faster I reach 5,000, the faster I can give away my Renox. Uh, and uh, that's it. That's for the rules. Be very, very careful because there are so many scammers. I will only announce the winner via a video. I will read your name. I will say your name out loud in the video that I will publish on my channel. I will never contact you randomly. I will never post a comment below saying you won. That is not me. So be very careful because there are so many scammers out there and that's something that I want to do for one of you. Give this away and I don't want anybody to be scammed. That would make me very, very sad. So please do your due diligence. Don't get scammed. Um, you will know if you won because I said it on YouTube in one of my videos once I reach 5,000 subscribers. The rules to the giveaway are also posted under the video so you can go and read them again if you need to. And uh, yeah, thank you so much again for all your support. It's been really, really fun growing the community and I'm really excited to be able to give something that I personally don't use anymore to someone else who will be able to create something with this new tool. So I'm really excited to see what you will do. If you win, but you don't want it, let me know, um, you know, and then I'll just put it back and I'll uh, pick up uh, the name of someone else who post posted a comment on this, this exact video. Uh, so it can go to someone who really, really want it. So you can post a comment even if you don't want the giveaway. Now for next week, 
I'm thinking of doing an unboxing of the 90mm macro because my own lens is coming and also I'm going to take you through the process of setting up a shot and editing it. So we'll really go through everything together. I'm really excited about this video and to see you next week and until then, happy shooting! Au revoir!